The Differential Operating Characteristic Module tests the operation of the protection device for faults inside the protected zone. This video tutorial will show you how to configure the test module. Verify that the current outputs and the trip signal are enabled in the local hardware configuration. The test view displays the differential characteristic that you have defined in the test object. The General tab contains the settings of the test and the trigger conditions. First, choose the test method from the drop-down menu. In our example, we test from primary to secondary. You can apply a pre-fault condition for those relays that need to stabilize before the fault inception. There is also the ability to apply a voltage output if required. For end-to-end -end testing applications, it is possible to use a synchronized trigger. Since we want to test the operating characteristic of the differential protection, we use the general trip command as the trigger. Both shot test and search tests are available in this module. The shot test allows you to place different test points in the operating characteristic diagram. You can quickly confirm whether the operating characteristic is within the specified tolerance band. If you have a look at the characteristic in the diagram, you will notice that it changes depending on the selected fault type. This is called combined characteristic. Now we will see how it works. Let's take the following distribution of currents for a single phase fault. We can see that the currents of the faulted phase are twice the currents of the non faulted phases. The bias and differential currents can be calculated out of these values. Now we can locate these points in the diagram. The faulted phase will not lead to a trip. The test point falls within the blocking zone of the characteristic. However, the relay will trip because of the currents in the non faulty phases. For this reason, the characteristic for the non faulty phases has to be adapted in order to match the relay's behavior. The characteristics of the faulty and the non faulty phases are then put together to get the resulting characteristic. The characteristic that you see in the operating characteristic diagram is adapted automatically to show whether you can expect a trip or not. We will now test a three phase fault as an example. To test the slope of the characteristic, place one shot below and one shot above the start and the end of each segment of the characteristic. Place the shots close to the tolerance borders to check that the characteristic is correct in its limits. Use the available entry fields of bias and differential current to add test points or directly use the diagram for this purpose. Now we are ready to start the test and assess the results. It is possible that some test points turn pink during the execution of the test. This means that the point could not be tested because the test current exceeds either the test range of the connected CMC or the relay limits specified in the test object. To get more information about the icons, search for Status Icons in the Help section. You can only perform a search test or a shot test in this test module. Copy and paste the diff operating characteristic test module to keep your settings and to perform a search test. Also, only one fault loop can be tested in one module. You will need a separate module for each fault loop. The search test allows you to find the exact position of the operating characteristic. To insert a test line, enter the value for the bias current or right-click in the diagram.
You can choose whether the nominal characteristic shall be ignored in the search test. If you check this box, the test module will search the characteristic of your relay along the test lines. If you do not check the box, the test module will only search the characteristic inside the tolerance borders. The resolution determines the accuracy of the search test. The test module will take the larger of the absolute and relative values for each test line. We can keep the default values for the resolution and start the test. As we can see, the search lines have been assessed as passed. As expected, the exact position of the characteristic is within the tolerance band.